my purple banditos and welcome back to more let's play pokemon sun and moon i'm purple rodri last time we made our way to the battle royale today we're gonna go ahead and enter inside and see what glaneon is up to so we are now in the battle royale dome glad you could make it i'm here today yeah to spread the word oh yeah about battle royale they call me the Mass Royale. Woo! The professor? The Mass Royale. I'm here to teach you, oh yeah, about the battle format passed down in Alola for generations. The Pokemon Battle Royale. Woo! But Royal, what's the Battle Royale? You might ask, four trainers. Four trainers, yeah. Each pick three Pokemon, yeah, for one big Pokemon battle. Oh yeah! When one trainer's team can't battle anymore, yeah, the battle royale ends. Whichever trainer has taken out the most Pokemon, yeah, and has the most Pokemon left, will emerge the winner. Woo! First, just give it a shot. Pick your Pokemon and let's do this. Dude, it's the Masked Royale! I want to battle! I want to battle! You there, come join in the fun. I'll be in the mix too, yeah? And now we have our foursome. Woo! Hey! Discovery, new experiences, adventure. It's all yours if you want it. It's time for a Pokemon Battle Royale. Ready, fight. It looks like we are all going to be going into the Battle Royale. And I am super excited for this. I can't believe it's going to throw us right into the Royale Dome with our team. Here we go. The dome is packed and filled with excitement. There's a Gyarados entrance. This is amazing to see. We have so many different entrants here. So many different Pokemon that are going to come into this. I'm going to go ahead and open up with Green Arrow. And let's see what everybody has. He's got his Brion coming out. I'm going to go ahead and take a wild guess. Rockruff from Pro Wrestler The Royal. I wonder who is under that mask. And Gladion's going to go ahead and send out Type Null. Okay. This battle is on its way. The Battle Royale starts now. And it surely does. So, as they explained earlier, all the Battle Royale is, the last Pokemon standing is going to win. I'm going to go ahead and drop the Razor Leaf, and it's going to hit all three of them. That is the bonus for us. Oh, the Rock Ruff with the Protect. We'll see if everybody else holds out to this, though. If I can knock out the Breon, we're going to go ahead and knock out House Pokemon first, and everybody else is just going to take damage. I believe that GA should be able to tank it up, too, unless all these guys... Yeah, everybody has those types of moves then. Here we go. I'm going to go for another Razor Leaf. And let's see. Okay. Type Null's going after us, of course. Rock Ruff is going after us. Wow. Could you guys mix it up a little bit? I know we're the ones packing some damage. And there we go. I am so close to knocking these Pokemon out. And at least How is on our side. If How's helping us, I'm okay with that. We at least have one guy to help us out. Let's go ahead and go for one more Razor Leaf. Okay, How. Our boy, How. I'm actually really proud of him. He's helping us out. He's being a team player. This is what should be going on. Not everybody teaming up on our green arrow. With that guy's Rock Ruff and Breon have gone down. <laughs> that was pretty simple. So we knocked out the first one and the battle is over? That was it? So what do you think? It's easy to have a fun time with Battle Royale, woo. You even have a shot at beating real tough opponents this way, yeah? You were on fire during that battle. I hope you bring that fire with you and burn up my trial. The name's Kaiwi, the fire captain. You can get to Wellick Volcano Park from Route 7. I'll be waiting on the peak. If you plan to see your island challenge through to then, climb to the top with your strongest team. So, Rodri, how? How are your trials going? I hope you and your Pokemon are working hard and having a blast. Woo! But, Mr. Mass Royale, how'd you even know that we're doing our trials right now? Oh, I get it. Because of our amulets, huh? Well, I'm having a blast. But why are you here? Why would you even want to do a battle royale? Because Nolan and I have to make it on our own. And I don't ever want to forget that. Wow, you're just a ray of sunshine, eh? I think you'd have a lot more fun. 
fun if you just let yourself have a good time with everybody else. You can do a lot more together, too. Well, I don't know what his deal is, but I thought that battle was just plain fun. That's why I like doing battle royales, and my Pokemon seem to like them, too. I gotta tell you guys, I definitely agree with Hal. I thought that was a great idea. The Battle Royale definitely seems like a really great place, and I can't wait to check it out. I'm definitely gonna take a look around and see if we can find anything else around here. There's probably gotta be a couple TMs inside of this place, considering it is a battle arena. I would hope that at least one trainer here. What's up, Grandma? When are you guys gonna give me a Pokemon? When are you guys gonna give me a TM? Doesn't look like there is much else here. They sell merch, though, for the Battle Royale. Imagine if our trainer could become the champ of the Battle Royale. You never know what could happen. And they're over here talking about Professor Kakoi. I wonder who is behind the Royale mask. Maybe someday we will figure out the biggest mystery in the Pokemon world. Okay, so now we're back at Royale Avenue, and hopefully we'll be able to make our way out of here and continue on to where we were. I want to give you guys a very big thank you for all your tips and your comments. They were amazing getting to read through them. It was really great, and it just means a lot to me that you guys leave such fantastic comments. Let's continue here through Route 6, and hopefully now we will have access to Heia Heia City. If you guys remember, we came very close to it before, but we couldn't get through because of the Stoutland. Okay, they are still looking through here, so we're not going to be able to head that way. But let's go ahead and see if we can go to the left. Now that we did the Battle Royale, hopefully we will be able to head to another location. We should probably check our map too, because I'm sure it's going to tell us where exactly it is we need to go. Why does it always show the Pokedex? I'm trying to click the map, little Rotom Pokedex. Show me the map! Okay, it seems like Wella Volcano Park lies off Route 7. Careful you don't end up in any hot water. Okay, so how exactly do we get to Route 7? That's what I need to figure out. Diglett's Tunnel is down this way. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and check out Diglett's Tunnel then. Maybe we'll find something good here in this tunnel? Hmm, a Rodri, wasn't it? This cave really is something, you know? It's overflowing with these Pokemon called Diglett, and they are getting really out of hand. Mediocre trainers can't even get through. So how's your island challenge going? Let me see which crystals you've earned. Okay, you're doing all right. How's that Waterium Z working out for you? Judging by how well you and your team get along, I bet you guys can do some real damage with it. Okay, Rodri, Kaiwee's trial is next. Off to Wella Volcano Park you go. Okay, great. So they don't want us here? Is that what's happening? We can't get through this place? It looks like we are going to have to make our way back out. Olivia's not going to let us get through this Diglett cave. And it seems like trainers are having a hard time against these Diglets. It's interesting to think about that. How would these Pokemon actually affect trainers' journey? Sometimes you might not be able to go out on your adventure because something's going on with these Pokemon. It's pretty crazy to think about. I am not trying to battle you, Zubat. Oh, you mother... Fudger. I should have used the repel. Now the Zubat's over here trying to call itself some backup. Can we please run away from this? Okay, great. Let's go ahead and make sure we use a repel then because we are definitely going to need it if we're going to be making our way through a new route. Let's go ahead and activate that and get out of here so we can see where else we need to go. I guess we really aren't going to be allowed through here, huh? Yep, there we go. She's just going to say the same exact thing. Let's go ahead and get out of here then. We do have to go to Wella Volcano. So I need to find where exactly the next route is. And where I don't really know where the heck the route's going to be. Everybody's so surprised we have a Rotom Pokedex. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a couple seconds once I figure it out where Route 7 is exactly at. I've gone ahead and found Route 7. It's to the right of the Battle Royale Dome. So it was there all along. Now we are here in another big route. And I'm excited to see what's going to be in store for us. So this is the Captain's Barricade. Which means we are very, very close to the trial. We're definitely going to have to battle some people. So let me go ahead and switch it up. I'm going to go ahead and put the Flash up in front. And let's go ahead and get the Flash some action here. We also need to get Georg to level 20 so he'll be able to use his ability, which I know is going to be very, very helpful. A lot of you guys told me how strong Wishy Washy actually is, and I didn't realize how strong the form was compared to its normal form. We are here in Wella Volcano, and this is where everything should begin. We need to get to our next trial, so let's go ahead and see what we can find around here. 
I'm excited for this. Ooh. It sounds so nice here, too. Whenever we get to explore these new areas. Oh, we got ourselves a hyper potion. So, you know, something big's going to come up. It looks like we're going to have our first battle. So, let's go ahead and take her on. Okay, let's keep moving through here. I really thought that our Pichu was going to be able to take down that Meowth. I'm a little bit surprised. What is this? I'm the cutest of the Seismic Sisters, a trio of siblings who love, love, love volcanoes. This cave here leads to the top of the volcano, just so you know. Okay, well, thank you very much. Let's go ahead and enter inside of the volcano and see if we can find our trial. It looks like we have made it to another trial, guys. I hope you're super excited for this. Good job making it this high. Why don't you heal your Pokemon? Thanks, that is going to be very, very helpful. And uh, yeah, we are just about ready to make our way inside. If you're going to try your hand at the fire trial, you should at least have some Pokemon that can use water, ground, or rock-type moves. Now, we do have the Flash, we have Rush, we have Green Arrow, so I feel like we're going to be A-OK. -okay. Let's go ahead and make our way inside and hope for the best. This adventure is about to get a little bit crazier here in the fire trial. We are in Well Volcano Park, the Totem's Den. I am Kaiowi. My Marowak and I are students of the ancient dances that have been passed down in Alola for generations. The trial of Kaiowi. You will find that it is a bit different than the trials you have faced at this point. But of course, you will attempt it, right? Of course! Okay guys, here we go. We have begun another trial. My trial will test your powers of observation. There will be a dance and then another. Your task will be to find the difference between the two. Begin! Whoa! Watch carefully and memorize this dance. Whoa, what? What was that? What was different from the previous dance? We gotta take a wild guess here. I'm gonna go ahead and say the middle Marowak. That was truly spectacular. And to add to the spectacle, come Marowak! We actually guessed right. Okay, here we go, guys. Rodri versus Marowak. And I hope you guys are ready for this. I'm going to go ahead and send out the Flash. And we got to hope the Flash comes through for us here. Marowak is only level 18. That's not too bad at all. So I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> mix things up. We're going to bring out Canary. We haven't used Canary in a bit. So let's go ahead and bring out one of our strongest pokemon here to take on this marowak because i know it could be a little bit difficult going up against this guy i gotta tell you seeing the alolan marowak is really really cool as well i think it's great that they continued on with a little bit of lore from lavender town if you guys didn't know this alolan marowak is part ghost too which kind of goes with the whole little lore of uh, the tower the whole lavender town mystery and it's very very cool that they did something like that it is great to see that there are still little bits and pieces of all these mysteries we grew up with in the game today oh my goodness you know what i gotta get ready for this alolan marowak let's see if our pluck is gonna hit there we go that should do a little something i feel pretty good going in with this let's keep going with the pluck we're gonna pluck this for as long as we can we are definitely gonna have to fight a total marowak or a little bit you know higher up in the evolution chain so we're gonna have to get prepared for that i'm gonna keep going for the pluck though if we could get a supersonic off too on this guy that would be really really good for us so there we go the supersonic is on the marowak i think that's gonna help us out a lot tail whip he really wants to lower our defense. What is up with these Pokemon? They really just want something to happen here. Okay, let's go ahead and switch out then. We're going to bring out Green Arrow. I feel like Green Arrow should be able to KO this Pokemon. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. I know yesterday I also asked you guys what Pokemon you'd like to see get a new form. 
we've been talking about it so much in this game how there's so many forms that got brought back from kanto that really have made a big impact in this region what's going to be battling in the future and i gotta tell you there's a region that sticks very close to my heart that i feel i could definitely use a little bit of an update and some of their pokemon could as well and that's the Sinnoh region i'm a big fan of the Sinnoh region and i feel like the Sinnoh starters could definitely use a big boost if you give the Sinnoh starters uh, just a mega or just something strong just give them a little something bring them back i feel like that would be really amazing i love using torterra and I couldn't even imagine using a Mega Torterra. What could happen with a Mega Torterra? It would be wonderful to see that. I hope the day will come when we see those Pokemon come back. It really would be amazing to see that. We gained a bunch of XP. GA has grown to level 25. And with that, the Flash has grown to level 20. Everybody gained XP. I guess everybody wants to level up today. And we defeated the first Marowak. Oh my goodness, with that, guys! The Flash is evolving! So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I am so happy about this. There we go! Our boy, the Flash, wants to evolve as a speedster. He wants his speed to go up a little bit. So with that... Oh, man! Congratulations! The Flash evolved into Pikachu! And with that, we now have a Pikachu on our team. That makes me so happy to see. We have a Pichu and a Pikachu. Next up, you guys know what it'll be. We will have an Alolan Raichu very, very soon. It is in nature. It's in its nature to store electricity. Feel stressed now and then if it's unable to fully discharge the electricity. I remember that from the anime. I remember them saying that. So let's go ahead and continue on now that we have the Flash evolved. Marowak was so pleased by your right answer that it simply had to battle you. Onward to the second dance. Okay, time to focus on the second dance. So let's see what they did differently. Oh boy. Okay, watch carefully. Here we go. Let's hope we can get this one correct this time. Oh man. Who is that guy on the screen? Who is the hiker? Why is he there? <laughs> How did we not know that the hiker was going to be there? He's like, come hiker. Okay, guys, here we go. Let's go ahead and take on the hiker. What? 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 Why was the hiker there? Okay, let's go ahead and challenge hiker David. This is so funny. What is Pokemon doing now? Why was the hiker there? Okay, let's go ahead and send out our Pikachu. And I feel really good using a Pikachu. I gotta tell you, all I was waiting for was for our Pichu to evolve. And I'm really happy that our Pichu finally did. Now we have the Flash, who's gonna be very, very dominant. And I'm so happy about that. Let me go into my bag. We're gonna switch this up. We're gonna send out... We're gonna send out Adonis. Once Georg hits level 20, which should be coming very soon... I think we'll be prepared to take on all these pesky fire types. They really have been a pain to take on, I gotta tell you. So, I'm excited to have something other than Bubble Beam to use, even if Adonis has been doing a really good job. Adonis does what he can. He comes in clutch for us. He's gonna keep on going, even if we didn't, you know, have any other water type moves. So, let's go ahead and finish this up, Adonis. Do something good for us. Also, I really appreciate that you guys have been telling me that Adonis isn't going to be able to evolve until much later on. It really does help to know all of this because it helps me build a really, really good team. And I can't wait to see that. That's why I feel really good with bringing in Georg and putting Ravio back in the PC. We still do have our Ash Greninja who should be ready after we defeat our second Grand Trial. So we are going to be coming up on that, which is going to be really cool. The fact that we get to use Ash Greninja in an adventure, I can't wait for that. Let's go for that all-out pummeling. And this better take down this Magmar. If this guy getting smashed into a mountain is still up, <laughs> I was about to say, he even got critted there. I would hope it's a crit if you get smashed into a mountain, right? With that, we grew to level 21, and we defeated this random hiker. I'm beginning to think you could answer anything and they would just let you go with it and they'd be like yeah you chose the right answer because i have no idea how he got both of those right 
My hacker friend was so pleased by your right answer that he simply had to battle you. Well, that's nice. He seems like a mean guy, but at least we know he's got his hiker friend. Onward to the final dance. Okay, so the hiker is back. We have to memorize this dance. It looks like one of the Marowaks is taking a picture. Okay, let's go ahead and see what this goofy second stand is going to be. Oh, you got to be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. The hiker totally moved poses. The hiker totally moved poses. So what's going on? Look at this. The totem Pokemon, the black Pokemon, the new Pokemon, the suspicious Pokemon. We're gonna go with uh, the black Pokemon that's chilling back there. But, but how? That was truly spectacular. And to add to the spectacle, come totem Pokemon. So here we go, guys. It's time for us to take on the totem Pokemon of this trial. And here we go. We're challenged by Totem Salazzle. And this is going to be quite the battle. Totem Salazzle's Aura Flared, a special defense rose. It's a good thing we have the Flash up in front. Because if we can land a Thunder Wave on this Pokemon, that's going to help us out a lot. So let's go ahead and land that. Hopefully, we can tank out the Flame Burst. Oh, boy. That did a lot. The Thunder Wave would have helped us out a ton there, too. So that is too bad. Let's go ahead and send out Green Arrow. I believe in the Green Arrow. We are much higher level than this Pokemon. And here comes the Ally Pokemon as well. This is going to be difficult. I can already see this turning out to be a little bit tough. Also, I know that these Salandits are actually really strong. So I've been wanting to use a couple. I definitely want to give that a shot. I think it'll be great. I'm going to just go for the attack on the Salazzle. I think if we focus on the boss, that's probably going to be a better strategy. Now, we have ourselves a Poison Fire here we're going up against. You know we've had a difficult time against Poison types before. Going up against Grimer, I got to tell you, that was pretty difficult. But there we go. That's what I like to see. If we can keep this up... I feel like we will be able to defeat this quite easily. We're going to go for another pluck. Let's keep it going on the Salazzle. If so, if Salandit is just chilling there after, we can definitely knock that Pokemon out. Torment. Okay. I see you. I see you guys. Oh, boy. This one's going to hurt. There it is. I knew that one was going to hurt. We're going to have to hope for a big hit here. Come on. Come on. Just tank it out, GA. Dang. GA gone down. But we did lower the Pokemon really, really low. So I feel pretty confident about that. Let's go ahead and send out Green Arrow. Or Adonis. Now that Green Arrow is out, let's go ahead and send out Adonis. If Adonis can hit this, you know what? I will save the Z-Power. And I'm going to go ahead and hope that the Bubble Beam will knock out this Alazel. So let's go ahead and see what the Bubble Beam can do. Come on. Hold out, Adonis. Hit that Bubble Beam, my friend. Hit that Bubble Beam. Knock out this Pokemon. Oh, no. Really? That was so close. I really thought we were going to knock it out there. Okay, Adonis is poisoned. We have one HP to go. And all I can say is we are going to hope for the Z-Power to land on this Salazzle. So here we go. Oh, the Flame Burst. It's going to get us. Now, if you guys remember, we do still have Hidden Powers on a couple of our Pokemon. So it's time to mix it up a little bit. A Pokemon you did not expect to come in clutch here. We're going to go ahead and send in Rock Rush. Rock Rush, you are going to go for your hidden power. And we're going to hit it on the Salazzle. So let's go ahead and do this, guys. If you remember what the hidden power was for our little guy. Oh, really? They are taunting us? Rush, they are taunting us, little guy. Hit him with that. Hit him with that rush. Super effective. We're going to hit the Salazzle one more time with the rock throw. Let's knock out this Salazzle. This Salandit, he knows too. He's like, this is it. This is our last chance to hit something big. What a crazy battle this has been. I'm really, really pumped right now. Let's go for the rock throw. And there we go. The Salazzle has gone down. So we are down to a one-on-one, -on -one, ladies and gentlemen. Good job, Rock Rush. That's what I like to see. Rock Rush is level 20. Everybody's going to be growing levels today. Roost. 
Oh, yeah, I want Roost. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of Brick Break then. Because Roost is just so much better. And there we go. Let's keep going. Especially since we have all of these type Pokemon, these type effect Pokemon. They're gonna go ahead and just throw that at us. So we gotta have something to heal up. We can't use the same move right now. So let's go for the hidden power on the Salandit. Let's hope for a big crit here from Rock Rush. If Rock Rush comes in clutch, come on, Rock Rush! Use that hidden power! Hit something big! Come on! I gotta tell you, that's a little more than I thought it would be. So that's a little something. And the taunt finally wore off. We're not gonna be faster than the Salandit, I don't believe. So let's go ahead and use a potion then. We're gonna make sure we use these. I've been trying to hold back on the potions because I feel like all of our Pokemon can't stand up to anything we go up against. So we just need to give each of them a chance. Hold out, hold out, little rush. Oh man, that is doing way too much now. Yeah, we're gonna have to, oh man, we are gonna have to let rush go. And then we are gonna have to hope that another one of our Pokemon comes clutch here for us. That, oh, that's gonna definitely knock us out. So there we go. We gotta get Canary out here. We have to get Canary out here. I told you guys, Canary is very, very strong. And I feel good now that we have the Roost. That we'll be able to tank out anything we go up against. So let's go for the Pluck. We do have the Echoed Voice as well. Let's go for the Echoed Voice. Let's see what we can do to this guy. Come on, Echoed Voice. That was okay. That wasn't terrible. And if he's just gonna keep taunting us, this is great. I think we have this battle in the bag. Let's go for the Pluck, guys. And hit a crit. Come on, Canary. And there we have it, guys. We gained 244 XP for winning. And we defeated Totem Salazzle. Whoa, spectacular. With your keen observations, you were able to see even fine differences in our dances. Yeah, they were... Man, you, I couldn't even tell them apart, Kaioi. And you defeated the totem Pokemon with such ease. The totem Pokemon was carrying a Fyurium Z. It is yours now. With that, guys, we got another Z-Crystal, and we completed another trial. This is how you use the Fire-type Z-Power. Thank you, my dear Marowak. For when you meet a Pokémon that you would like to make your companion, Take these. Oh, great. Quick balls. We'll definitely be using those. What's more, you may now use the ride Pokemon Charizard. Charizard will lend you his strength, and you will be able to go anywhere you have been in an instant. Oh, Charizard was registered to our ride pager. Ah, we can fly now with Charizard. The Fire Z, you should now show it to the trial guide outside the captain's barricade at the bottom of the mountain. It's time for us to return to our dance. The feelings of the Alolan people and our Pokemon and the true nature of Z-Power. The answers lie in our dance, and so we must dance on. With that, let's go ahead and check out the Charizard Glide. Oh my goodness! We can fly to a bunch of different places now. We can fly to the Royal Avenue. Oh, this is going to be so nice. We can fly straight to Route 7 and the Pokemon Center if we want to. So let's go ahead and fly to Whale Volcano and check out Charizard. This is what I've been wanting to see since I was a kid. Oh boy, Charizard is right up there. He's gotta be one of my favorite Pokemon. I love fire types. So guys, with that, we will be continuing here from Route 7. So make sure you guys go ahead and give this video a big like. Thank you guys so much for all your tips and your comments. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Alola!